Hi, and welcome to another episode of It's That Easy, 10 minute or less answers to your drug discovery challenges. Uh, I'm Jeremy Jones, Principal Scientist of AI-Driven Drug Design at Simulations Plus. As an academic turned to early drug discovery scientists, I like helping others find faster, more efficient ways to tackle their drug discovery and development challenges. Today, we're going to talk about parameter sensitivity analysis and how to use it to focus your drug optimization approach. Parameter sensitivity analysis, what is it? Well, in a broader sense, it's a method for examining how changes in a, in a model parameter affect the relevant model outputs. More specifically for our case, we're trying to predict some, some PK uh, properties, um, such as absorption, oral availability, Cmax, area under the curve. Um, and two of the most significant parameters influencing those are solubility and permeability. With uh, parameter sensitivity analysis, we can assess the sensitivity of predicted PK endpoints to these two critical input parameters. So, for instance, if uh, you had a, a compound in this case that uh, seemed to be um, uh, had a high sensitivity uh, to estimated solubility to improve uh, absorption, for instance, but a low sensitivity to estimated permeability, you would know that improvements to solubility could have a substantial payoff. Well, uh, in trying to improve permeability would not. You'd also know that it's important to accurately measure the solubility by experiment, but really that any reasonable estimate of permeability would, would probably be sufficient. Um, you know, and then if you had measured that solubility uh, and it turned out that the predicted abs absorption was poor, you could direct your efforts maybe toward formulating the compound better uh, to, in to accommodate the low solubility or move on to a different candidate, right? So. Uh, I do want to say that there's a variety of tools available out there to help understand which parameters most significantly affect PK property models. But today I'll be using our IMET predictor software from Simulations Plus. Uh, well, because, you know, it's, it's who pays me, but also because it's really good software. So let's look at a, a couple of examples here. Uh, bear with me for one second while I pull up our IMET predictor software. And you can see what a, a typical AdMet predictor screen looks like, where you see the structures of the molecules uh, and all of these different models we have to, to predict different things, uh, permeability, solubility. Uh, and if you're more interested in, in learning more about the AdMet predictor and all the things it can do, please visit our website um, or check out some of the webinars. Uh, but I, I really want to show you our um a parameter sensitivity analysis, and we'll start here uh, with this, you know, experimental compound. Um, and I'm just going to launch the parameter sensitivity analysis with this icon here. And we have a couple options. So we can predict uh, this in three different species, rat, human, or mouse. You know, maybe you're doing a, a mouse, you know, xenograph model or something, and you want to uh, optimize for that. But we'll, we'll keep it with human for now. Uh, we can predict it in a couple different dosage forms, immediate release tablet or an IV bolus. We're actually working on a couple more dosage forms as well. Uh, you can do this at multiple doses at once if you're interested, uh, if you wanted to see if there's any dose dependency. Uh, you can also show how, what, what range of solubilities and permeabilities you want to look at. Uh, this will make more sense once you see one of these screens, I promise. There's also a bunch of different parameters that go into uh, the calculation as well. Uh, including our, our predicting how we predict clearance. So we've built some really good models based on liver microsomes or hepatocytes. Uh, you can also enter your own values if you have uh, in vivo known systemic values here, uh, a way to really, really hone in on and, and possibly improve predictions for your specific series. So for now, we're going to just go with the default settings. And so you can see how easy this is. <clears throat> I'll just hit run and this will come up right away, right? So if you look here, the first one that comes up is the, the predicted fraction uh, absorbed and very low fraction to a high absorbed fraction. And you can see that with increasing solubility that we predict the fraction absorbed will be much better. <laughs> so this compound has a high sensitivity to solubility. Not so much a little bit to permeability, but more so to solubility, right? <laughs> and so we would want to work on improving solubility, at least up to this point, where then it starts to level off. Uh, and then if we, you know, that's where our efforts would pay off the most. Um, we can look at other uh, PK properties, including oral availability, very similar curves, not to 
That's, that's to be expected. Um, check out C max, obviously important to see if we can get that concentration as high as possible. And you can see the curve shifts a little bit here. So still that dependence on solubility up to a certain extent. But permeability also has a, a significant association with, with CMAX here. It looks like a pretty much linear relationship. So improvements to both of these could really help. Um, so I, I hope you can see how, how this really does help you decide what directions to go to in your optimization efforts. Uh, just for fun, let's look at a, an approved drug and, and see what happens here. Uh, this is a, a you know, a, a, a antibiotic here. Um, We'll just do the same thing and see how quickly it pops up. And now if you look at the fraction absorbed, you know, this drug is an approved drug. We'd expect it to be well absorbed. And we, you know, our predictions show that as well, right? Um, and so you can see, uh, it's high absorption. If you did want to somehow try to make it a little bit better, the efforts would be better spent here to increasing the permeability. Uh, all right. That, that's kind of it. Um, uh, you know, I, I hope you can see how this can really help you direct your optimization efforts and uh, more so, I guess, I hope that you enjoyed the episode. Uh, and as always, check out my other episodes and, and feel free to email me with any questions you may have. Thanks for watching.